everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a different kind of action figure review for you guys. We do not have a WWE, we do not have an AEW, we have a UFC action figure review on the brand new Jazzwares UFC Conor McGregor figure. The rest of the series, I guess it's called the Ultimate Series. I was trying to look for, you know, the name of the line, because you guys know with Mattel WWE figures, it's Elites, you have Ultimates, you have the AEW Unrivaled Collection. With this, I was looking at the packaging, I was like, bro, where the hell is the name? And I guess it's this right here. It says Ultimate Series. So I guess this is the UFC Ultimate Series 1. Conor McGregor figure, which you guys can see here. 32 points of articulation. 2020 Limited Edition. We'll get into all those details, why this is a limited edition and stuff like that later on. But you do have the front viewing window. You got a beautiful image of Conor McGregor right here. A little bit of tape right there on the front. Or what, what in the hell is this? A little plastic baggy piece? So on the side, you do get an image of McGregor there. UFC here. UFC here. UFC here. Conor McGregor there. On the back, you do get an image there and some info. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. You got a UFC event here. You got the rest of the figures in the wave, which are at my Walmart. Let me know if you guys want to see the rest of these figures reviewed. I guess we can just see about that. We have Conor McGregor's name here, another UFC logo here, another UFC logo here, and a Jazzwares logo here in the bottom right corner. So I guess they want you to know for sure that this is a UFC figure because they plastered like 87 different UFC logos on this hoe. You know, when I first saw these figures, I wasn't too impressed with them. You know, uh, we'll get into all those details with it, guys, but let's find out how good this figure is. We're going to compare it to the AEW figures, the WWE figures, see what this guy's about. So let's go ahead and crack him out of his packaging. All right, guys, so here is Conor McGregor out of his packaging, looking pretty solid, you know, everything like that. So if you guys are wondering, okay, one thing that you're going to notice in this video is that Conor McGregor, he is very small. These figures are pretty small. We're going to get into scaling stuff and stuff like that later on in the video. But Jeremy did say, one of the lead designers on these figures, he said that Series 1 was kind of like a prototypical series, which is why you see on the front of the package it says Limited Edition, 2020 Limited Edition, because moving forward, these figures are going to be slightly bigger. They're going to be more in scale with the AEW figures, and I think their head sculpts will have true effects technology. I believe these head sculpts were just hand sculpted and painted. They did not have the true effects technology put on them. I think moving forward that will change to true effects technology, you know, more photo imagery and stuff like that for head sculpts, and then these figures will be upgraded in size and they will be bigger. So that is good news because I think that they will be better because of that, and we'll probably see re-releases of most of these guys in Series 2 and moving forward in Series because these guys are so small, but this is pretty cool to see. I think these are out at Walmart right now if you guys want to get your hands on these and you can get them at ringside collectibles using promo code MD toys but you guys know how these videos work we're going to run through his accessories first and then we'll take a closer look at Conor McGregor so let's take a look at Conor McGregor's <laughs> so that being said guys let's dive into Conor McGregor's accessories all right guys so getting into Conor's accessories he does come with an interchangeable head sculpt interchangeable hands a championship and the Ireland flag so here's the Ireland flag it has good stretch to it it actually has some nice pliability to it and stuff like that so it's just the Ireland flag. I do believe he uses this during his entrance and after fights. He, you know, he'll he'll drop it over his back or whatever. I'm not a huge follower of UFC, but I know who McGregor is. Very entertaining fighter. Very good trash talker, you know. And I have enjoyed his work. And I wanted him to beat Floyd Money Mayweather. But anyways, diving into it, you also get a UFC championship. Now, he was the UFC lightweight and featherweight champion. And he was the first UFC athlete to hold two UFC titles simultaneously. So I thought it would have been cool to include two of these. One for each champion championship, but this belt is pretty much all rubber. Like, there's no, like, plastic plates or anything. It is all rubber here. As you guys can see, I can bend it and everything like that. I think that it would do better if these were, like, a shinier gold. I wish these were made like the AEW championships, like we got with a little bit of the bubbly Chris Jericho, because this is just kind of cheapish, I guess, is what I could say. Like, it, like, the strap is fine and everything, but the plates, I wish, were, were metal or plastic. If the plates were plastic and had, like, a nice shiny gold to them, I think it would be a lot better. But this UFC championship is what it is and, you know, you do get that. You also get an interchangeable head sculpt. He has, like, a yelling face right here, and again, this is not true effects technology, so you do get some inconsistency, some paint and stuff. Not a big fan of this head sculpt. I think the eyes are a little bit too big, and I'm sure these head sculpts will improve, but there you go. You get a nice little fade haircut around the edges there. I definitely like the one that comes on the head. I like the one that comes on the figure out of the packaging better than the, the screaming head sculpt. And then you do get, you get, like, Mike Holding slash grappling hands right here, which are kind of cool. They remind me a lot of, the, like, Brock Lesnar Mike Holding hands. 
hands that we get with Mattel WWE figures, but there you got the nice UFC logo. It's got the black gloves going on with those. And that pretty much does it for Connor's accessories, guys, except for the shorts that he's wearing out of the packaging, which we will cover when we cover the figure itself. So with that being said, let's get into McGregor himself. All right, guys, so getting into Conor McGregor himself, starting out with the head sculpt. Now, this head sculpt isn't perfect, but I don't think it's bad for, you know, just a one of one sculpt. You do have a nice haircut going on there. I like the lightness. It kind of looks like his eyes are a little bit off center. Maybe he's looking up and to the right a little bit, which I don't really care for. But, you know, it's not terrible. I don't think it's a terrible head sculpt by any means. And it works for the first series. Again, moving forward, I'm sure the next Conor McGregor figure will be a lot better than this. But you can interchange the head sculpts if you want. You just pop that off, and then you can easily just plop on the interchange head sculpt if you guys want to do that so there is that going back to the original head sculpt right here we will also do the articulation standpoint but going down into the torso you do get his nice tattoos which are some of the best tattoos in the world right there giant chest tag got McGregor down here got the tiger tattoo down here all of his details here you got double jointed arms and butterfly joints on this guy which is nice I like to see the tattoo continue right there onto the upper shoulder or chest piece right there on the back he does have his tattoos again going down these are the shorts that I was talking about you have his UFC shorts here in the like camo green nice logos on there it says Conor McGregor on the left leg and you can remove these to show like some regular trunks underneath I'm pretty sure and these are like a stretchy material which is nice to see you can like easily pull them off there and yeah he has like training pants or, or underwear whatever the hell you want to call it I don't even know sliding shorts I guess is what you would call that I don't even know but there you go and with the AEW figures you know this lower portion right here is usually a soft silicone like plastic this is not this is still hard this is like very reminiscent of Ultimate Edition figures which we will see in a few moments but going down you do get the nice skin tone there you get the nice bare feet you got the double jointed knees upper thigh cut and stuff which we will get into the articulation but I like I like this figure you know it's a little bit too small which you guys will see in the next segment of the video when we do the comparisons but overall not a bad little football figure man I, I feel like his posability is super awesome so we're gonna see about that but with that being said guys let's get into some Conor McGregor figure comparisons so I think this does a really good job of showing off the size of these UFC figures this is a standard Mattel WWE Elite Rey Mysterio, which is smaller than a standard WWE Elite. So you guys can just see how much bigger a Mattel WWE figure is compared to a Jazzwares UFC figure for now. Again, this is going to change moving forward, but there is the difference. You guys can just see, like, the, the Rey Mysterio is considerably larger. And not only that, guys, we also have a comparison between the Kenny Omega AEW figure that doesn't even fit in the screen compared to the Conor McGregor figure. So uh, these figures are definitely smaller like I, I think that you know we, we knew that coming in but that is that is a significant difference so if you think you can get away with it probably not gonna happen because he is like legitimately tiny compared to that and you guys can see what I was talking about with the ab crunch how much forward these can move compared to the UFC figures another comparison that I have guys is the Elite 78 Drake Maverick another small figure again you can see the size increase there and then if you want to see it up next to a regular WWE Elite here is Seth Rollins and you can see the height difference and the bigger difference there between the two and then the the final difference that I want to do is the Ultimate Edition Mattel WWE Brock Lesnar compared to Conor McGregor. And you guys can see, look at that mountain of a man up next to Conor McGregor. I think a really fun pick fed fight would be Brock Lesnar versus Conor McGregor with these two figures. That would be super duper fun. I think that would be awesome. But that pretty much does it for your figure comparisons, guys. So with that being said, let's get into McGregor's articulation. So getting into Connor's articulation, guys, you guys can see here, his head kind of pops off kind of easily when you try to move that neck back right there, but he does get nice looking down. He can look up that far before popping off. No real head pivoting on this guy. He can look back and forth. You get a full 360 rotation here. Butterfly joints here, which doesn't move in quite that much, but you guys can see the difference there. So it does move a little bit there. You get upper bicep there. The shoulders can go up and down, but I found that they're kind of weird. Like you kind of like to get it out the furthest you need to turn this a little bit so you guys can see how far that goes back there but then when you're like down like this it's kind of hard to get it up but it will go up it's just kind of tricky to get that to do so you do get the bicep swivel there you do get double jointed arms which are absolutely beautiful you get a hinge here and a ball rotation so you can rotate it and hinge it up and down the ab crunch is not near as impressive as an AEW figure but you do get some decent articulation here with the ab crunch nothing too nutty though because uh, the plastic piece is the same kind of plastic and it does 
doesn't go inside the waist joint like we see with AEW figures there. You do get a swivel here. You can go side to side motion there with the diaphragm. It can kick forward and back and you guys can hear it's like a ratchet joints. Instead of ball joints, I do believe they are on ratchets. Yeah, this is a ratchet joint. So they're so on their legs, guys, they do have ratchet joints as you guys can see here. So this allows for them to do all the splitsies. Like look at that split right there. That is completely flat on the ground splitsy. So that's beautiful to see. And you guys can hear that clicking moving forward. That is just the sound of the ratchet. So don't worry if you're trying to push the leg forward. It's not going to break on you. That's just the nature of the ratchet joints. You do get upper thigh cut. You get the double jointed knees, which are beautiful to see. Ankles can go down. They can move up. And you do get wonderful ankle pivot, Charter Miss Prime style. Overall, very nice articulation, man. I think it's absolutely brilliant. They're just kind of too small, which we will see improvements of in the next few series. But anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for the UFC Ultimate Series 1 Conor McGregor figure. I had a ton of fun reviewing the figure. Again, I think they're really nice. Like, if you're a big-time UFC fan, I think these are definitely worth the pickup. I think they're super fun to pose around. If you love action figures and you love posing around figures, then these are definitely figures for you. Even if you don't like UFC, they are kind of small, of course, but they that will be improved upon as we move forward. And I think he could be used for other, other series. Like, I bet you could fit him in with Marvel Legends a lot. I feel like Marvel Legends would be easier to fit these guys in with as far as scaling wise. And I don't know, man. They're super fun to pose around. Like, I want to go get the rest of them from Walmart now and just have me a little UFC display, even though I don't even collect UFC or follow it that closely. But if you guys want to grab this, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code to MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But that does it for my UFC figure review on Conor McGregor. If you guys want to see the rest of the figures in the wave reviewed, let me know down in the comment section below. That pretty much does it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.